Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial here on Shade Designs and of course this is the first video of 2012 I hope you guys had a great holiday during um, the Christmas period and also the New Year and I'd uh, just like to to, to wish you guys um, well, not wish you guys but to welcome you guys back to Shade Designs and of course today we have an exciting new tutorial lined up for you guys but before we do that let's get ahead to our Twitter page, so this is the Twitter page that we just for recently for launched Twitter, twitter.com forward slash shade designs um, you can follow me here for all the latest tweets, I'll be posting all the information and things like that I also have a Facebook fan page which is facebook.com forward slash shade designs and you'll be also finding all the work I'll be posting on the Facebook fan page, all the work if you have any tips for questions, things like that Anything that you want to ask, just post them onto the Facebook fan page. And also, we'd like to launch for 2012, since this is an exciting new year, is the Shade Designs official website. Now, I've been working on this um, during the break. Um, of course, I'll be posting all all of the materials, everything that that you know that we mentioned on this video and all my other five videos uh, in the future will be posted on here. You'll be also um, you know, be able to download the materials. So as I say, you know, as the tutorials get a bit more complicated, I want you guys to you know to follow ahead and also I'll be posting and uploading the files that are required for these um, tutorials. For example, if I want to you know to design you know an image or 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 anything like that, I'll be you know supplying you with the materials and you can just download it for free, okay? Because you know what, if I don't want to charge if anybody, um, uh, you know, of, of learning, you know, this is, you know, like something if I learn for free and, uh, you know, if I want to share my knowledge to the rest of the world. Okay, so let's get into the in today's tutorial, okay? Now, today's tutorial is, of course, we'll be making the new Xbox 360 dashboard. Now, as you guys, people who play game, you guys are well aware that Microsoft just recently unveiled the new um, uh, was it for interface for the Xbox 360 console, um, and they went for a more Windows 8 type of um, was it for design change. Okay, as um, people have, who have uh, Windows Phone 7 might also if I recognize it, you know that you know these icons. And uh, also, Microsoft also um, stated that they'll be also including this type of uh, was for icons and for dashboard onto the upcoming new Windows 8 operating system. Okay, so we're gonna, today's tutorial is going to make something similar to this. Um, we're going to for simply uh, using, of course, Photoshop. Okay, now the documents is 1280 as your width, and your height is 720. The resolution 72 and everything else for it remains the same. Now, also make sure that your background content is set to white, not transparent. Okay. And as I said, when you get to you know like when I'm when I finish making this video, I'll be eventually posting the material the materials for this tutorial onto the shadedesigns.com for website. Head to the video section and just click on to tutorial materials. Now in the um, tutorial for materials, you'll be also to find all the materials supplied for this document for today, and that you'll be getting something like this. It'll be in a compressed zipped folder. Okay, so we're just going to drag the background that I made for you guys already, because if I explain it to you guys, it's going to take a bit long, it's going to be a bit boring. Okay, so we're just going to drag the background file to our Photoshop document. As you can see, it fits perfectly into it because I made it to be like that. Okay, that's the number one step. Number two is we're going to include. We're going to um, we're going to make a uh, what's it the top menu um, the top for menu simple, which is this thing here as you can see. Okay, and this um, it's a certain text. Now, if you don't have this, I believe this is a century Gothic font. If you don't have this specific type of font on your computer, don't worry. You could also download for free a font zone. Just Google search Sentry Gothic font download free. Just you know, 
quick a Google search and you'll be all set to download that for free for Windows and also for Mac. Now once you have that installed onto your computer, it's just a quick yeah, simple step you can do. Once you have that on your computer, um, just click onto the text tool, okay, and we're going to type in, we're going to increase, just make the, size, the font size to 45. Oh, there we are, 245, okay. And then just type in home. Home. Actually, what we're going to do is, oh, is we're going to make this a bit dark, okay. Okay, so we're going to go like that. So that's so this is the code to use for this specific color, okay. So we're going to apply that for all our text, okay. So just make sure that you note that that. Make sure that you know that code, okay? Just press OK. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Good. So go to home, type in social. Um, and also, the space in between is three. One, two, and three. Okay. The next one is one, two, three. Live TV. One, two, three. Games. One, two, three. Music, one, two, three, uh, video, one, two, three, app, and one, two, three, settings. Okay, just press enter on that, and we're going to move this towards like that. Just make sure that it hits, um, okay, just just place it there. Don't worry if the, if the H is, you know, you can't see it. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Okay, so just press that enter. Now also what I included in the files in in the folder is a series of images that are already prepared for you guys, okay? So it's just so today's tutorial is just quickly just simple, you know, um click and drag, okay? Um we're gonna drop down the friends, so put that there, and we're gonna place it on underneath the social for banner and just just make sure the front is aligned with the front of the S okay press enter on that now go back to our font tutorial I mean font tutorial font for layer as you can see it's all selected highlight the social uh, tab and we're gonna make this dark okay a darker gray so it allows the user to notify that we are on the social tab instead of the home or the live TV tab, okay. Um, okay, so that is that's all right. So that's the code to use for that specific color. Okay, that's okay. Now that looks a bit more presentable. Okay, now we're gonna just just move a little bit to the side. Okay, that looks okay. Then we're gonna drag another icon, which will be the Facebook one. Place that underneath. Just drag it and hit about three spaces in between. So one, two, three, four. Four will do. Okay. And um, also drag the Twitter one. Okay. The Twitter one is there. Okay. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Press enter that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place a stroke border. Now, in Photoshop, a border is called a stroke. A stroke is applied to anything from text to the images. So, um, so while we're on the Twitter um, icon, right hand click on that specific specific layer, hit up to blending options, and go down to stroke. Tick that. Click on to stroke. And you can see you already applied a black border around that image. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change from black to darkish grayish. Okay. Go like that. That's all right. So that is the code to use for that specific color. Okay. Enter on that and enter on that. Okay. So as you can see, we have our banners. Now we're going to place our main body image. Okay, so I already prepared one for you guys. And if you don't want to use this, fine, it's okay. Just copy this, okay? Um, and so you can go to 
you know, like right hand click open to CS5. Um, and then as you can see, it's already here for you. Okay, so you go Control A, Control C, or Command A, com C, same thing on a Mac, and then just open up on a new document. As you can see, you have a blank for document. Now, do all your work, all your, you know, for designs that you want to do, your photos and things like that. You do on this uh, specific, what's it, for dimension, make sure that you save it onto um, a folder and then for drag that in into uh, Photoshop the Photoshop for document to work on. Uh, see, and as you can see, I already did, I already prepared one for earlier, so that's what we're making today, okay? So we're going to, so that's already pasted, right? Now, as you can see, it's not aligned perfectly, okay? So we're going to drag this, as you can see, that uh, put around, no, that is too close. Make it like that, okay? And then we're going to select the, uh, with all the images for layers, so the main one, Facebook one, the friends one, and the Twitter one. As you can see, it's all aligned together, so so we can move them around. Okay, so just move for all around there. That's a bit high, so I like it to be right there. Okay, and don't worry about the the space in between because we're going to enlarge these ones uh, together proportionally. Okay, so highlight the Twitter layer the Facebook layer and the friends layer and the way to do that is just hold down the control or the command key and you select the layers so it selects that together then press control or command T and then like you have the, the free transform tool that we all has on the uh, in all the photoshops okay and then just hold down the shift key and put your mouse over one of these bottom for corner things and just drag it so it is aligned to the bottom of the image okay that looks um yeah that looks perfect as you can see um still you know like what well, still you know if i selected go on to your left key you know you know the the four buttons that you have in between the uh the number pad and the keyboard just Click onto the left one and move it to the right. So just move it to there. That's okay. Now once you have that, we're also going to include the 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 family center one. So move that there, and we're also going to include the sign out one. Uh, press enter on that, and now we're going to include the sign out button. Okay, and put that right underneath each other. Okay, so move that four spaces or so in between. Press enter now move this to and place it on top of that line so select this one so select the sign out uh, was a layer and the family center for layer and we're going to drag it just towards the top and make sure if you go slowly you you know sometimes it snaps on the actual um, metal line so so it's like that and just go to your left okay Okay, so as you can see, we are nearly done, and you know it looks, you know, I would say professionally. Okay, now what we're going to include is something that's not included actually on the um, the actual the actual for Xbox thing, is that it has this shadow thing, but we're not going to include this drop down for shadow thing. Well, you know, I'm going to make it a bit more exciting. I already prepared these guys. Excuse me. I already prepared you guys the transparent um, the image. So head back to our Photoshop document. Go back to the folder, and simply drag the transparent image onto our document. Okay. We're gonna drag this and put it there. As you can see, it just it's a bit of a difference. Okay. So we're gonna put it down. Put it. Put that there. Hold the Shift key. That's very important and scale it down Hit and press enter as you can see you know look at the the simple effect that we just created okay and if you want you could also include that under these ones um, so let me just try how it would look like if I place that underneath the um, the icons because I haven't uh, tried that yet control T hold shift key and then put it right there Right there. Mm, that looks actually 
Do this. Okay, actually, also. Put it right there. Yeah, that looks okay. Um, and then just, you know what, for duplicate that layer, and place it under the Twitter one. Okay. Just make sure that it sits it onto. There you are. Okay, now we're also going to do the last step we're going to include is this. Okay, now people who play Xbox 360, this is your ID. Okay, it also includes, um, you know, a small little image of yourself, your name, to the messages you have, and etc. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to um, just grab, you know, an, an image of yourself. So I'm just going to grab um, a quick image of my Facebook. Okay, go to here, select that. Go back, okay, go to here, and I'm going to paste that, simply we're going to paste that on there, okay? okay so now, the reason why you, why you couldn't see is that because this layer is behind the main for big fat image, so that's why you can't see it at the moment, okay? Um, uh, okay, so you drag, drag it down, and we're going to decrease the size of that because that looks too big, okay? So as I said, hold down, it's very important to hold down the shift key, okay? Because you don't want to lose the the aspect for ratio of that image, okay? Head to our our text layer again, okay? And this time, just make it to be, I'll say, that color. That's the code to use for that specific color. Press OK, and we're going to type a username. Okay, um, also, decrease the text value to um, 20. Okay, we're going to type our name. So, like that. Okay. Press Enter, and we're going to move that towards there. Okay, now we're also we're going to grab this little thing, okay, because, you know, like we can't be bothered if I'm making this. You could just get it from, you know, just doing quick, what's it, a quick Google um, for image search, just type in Xbox 360 for dashboard, and uh, it will come up. Just make sure that you get a big one, okay? Oh, sorry. I'm just going to copy that, okay? As you can see, because I took a photo with it because I'm using a Mac, um, but what you could do is just, you know, right click, save the image, if I import it to, uh, to, to Photoshop, and then just cut out that part out. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, so we're going to put this right here. And as you can see, it comes with this little, you know, for background things that if I don't want. Okay, so the way that we're going to get for rid of that is we're going to go to Select, Color Range. Click on to that. Press OK. And then just press OK. Uh, press Delete, sorry. Um, as you can see, it's deleted that specific place that I want it to delete. Okay, so we're going to drag that and um, okay, put that right there. Just move the text one bit there. And uh, there you are. Um, also, let me see what I can also add in between. Um, actually, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um, so there you are. You just completed your very own Xbox 365 dashboard. And as I said, you could, you know, fold this around with your friends. You could, um, you know, just, you know, if you want, you could place games and things like that and point scores or, you know, your, your Xbox Live points. You could, you know, like fake it up and show it to your friends and say, hey, listen, look, you know, I took a snapshot of this, you know, this is how much my points I have. And, <laughs> yeah, you could do a lot of things, but hey, this is something that we just created. It looks, you know, it's simple and it looks just a thing. Except we didn't create a lot of these five boxes, okay? So that's how it is. So that's it for tutorials for tutorial. I hope that you guys have learned something. Make sure to like my. Oh, who the hell are you slots? Make sure that you like the Facebook fan page, as I said earlier. All the work will be for posted their materials. Follow us on Twitter. And the website, all the materials will be posted eventually under the tutorial materials, okay? So until then, I hope you learned something. Until then, take care and goodbye and peace.